aircraft is a Canadian aircraft uh, from the Heavyland Canada uh, with the, the name Beaver, the, this is a nickname. It's a uh, uh, high wing aircraft, uh, which in my case, uh, this aircraft is coming from Vietnam and was uh, completely rebuilt by an American specialized company in uh, Seattle. Uh, the aircraft is uh, built 1958 and completely restored 1999. Uh, it has a uh, nine cylinder uh, radial engine uh, of 452 horsepower. I uh, can take uh, about um, seven passengers, but I must say with the MFIPs, MFIP floats, they are really heavy and uh, I have always calculated the weight I can carry. So seven in theory, but normally I can carry five passengers. I do not uh, fly passengers commercially, but I fly with friends and with uh, uh, people or passengers from our club. We have a seaplane pilot club in Switzerland, about 200 members, and uh, we uh, are doing some events in Switzerland. Uh, this year we have four events, and all uh, aircrafts are coming to this event, and there we can fly our own members. Well, the plane is coming from Vietnam, but uh, uh, originally, originally it came from Vietnam because these aircrafts uh, were built between uh, 1948 and 62, and they have built about 1,650 aircraft, and maybe half, so a little bit more than 800 aircraft went to the U.S. Army. And the U.S. Army used that aircraft for a uh, VIP aircraft to bring some important person from A to B. And that aircraft was in Vietnam serving during the Vietnam War. And when the, the war was over, all these aircrafts were there for nothing. So uh, some companies have bought from the U.S. Army these aircraft. They were, they were not flyable a anymore. And uh, then they have rebuilt, completely uh, rebuilt the aircraft, uh, like new, like factory new, and I bought it from this American company, uh, Kenmore in Seattle. Well, uh, you must know that um, uh, seaplane flying in Switzerland is generally not allowed, it. but uh, we have uh, tried uh, maybe 10 years ago to ask uh, authority, can you not uh, give us maybe two or three days? We want to prove that this is nothing which uh, hurts the environment. We can fly without uh, too much noise and uh, we do not hurt anybody. And uh, so they give us uh, the, uh, the permission to have a, such a seaplane meeting. Uh, and after they have uh, got some uh, confidence to our activities, so they, now they let us land uh, for four weekends in, uh, per year. Italy is, uh, from tradition, very much, very much liberal, and in Italy you can do things where in other countries are not allowed. And uh, uh, of the help of the uh, Aero Club di Como, uh, the, the seaplane flying in Italy is really very open. You can uh, uh, respect, if you respect the regulations, the local regulations, then you can land on nearly every lake where also motorboats are allowed. It. So, uh, and, and I must say, a seaplane doesn't hurt the environment more than a motorboat because a seaplane is coming and then it stops the engine and then it's like a little uh, boat. And if it starts a minute later, it is gone. So uh, the pollution is really nearly zero. Well, uh, it depends uh, if uh, the European community will generally uh, allow to fly on lakes and rivers, which I really uh, see a possibility. Uh, then Switzerland will also join all these regulations. But of course with uh, some limitation, not to, to fly the whole weekend on a lake.
but uh, to make it a little bit more open. And uh, I can see some possibilities.